God loves you. And the more you know that he loves you, the more fear leaves your life. We all experience fear. Ask the pastor. Could the pastors give scripture to help with fear of the future? There is fear about the future. So let's look at the scripture. First John four, verse 17, it says, herein is our love made perfect, that we may have boldness in the day of judgment. Now the word judgment here is the Greek word krisis, and it means a condemnatory sentence. Now, a lot of people think that this is talking about Christians standing before God, but when we stand before God, we're not going to be judged because Romans 8, 1 says there is therefore now no condemnation. We'll stand before the Bema seat of Christ, but not a condemnation seat. He says, because as he is, so are we in this world. There is no fear in love. And verse eight, just prior here says, God is love, but perfect love casts out fear. The more you meditate on how much God loves you, and the more you know that he loves you, the more fear leaves your life. And so just put your eyes on Jesus and he'll lead us right through these times. The whole Bible is given to us for this purpose. Listen to what the Bible says about the Word of God. In Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12, it says, The Word of God is living and active and sharper than any two-edged sword, and piercing as far as the division of soul and spirit, of both joints and marrow, and able to judge the thoughts and intentions of the heart. And there is no creature hidden from his sight, but all things are open and laid bare to the eyes of him with whom we have to do. Now, this is talking about the Holy Spirit, whom we know as the Comforter. The Comforter is able to read you just like you read the Scriptures. The Comforter knows how to calm you, how to soothe you. So all of Scripture is wonderful for this purpose. We all experience fear, but fear can become a sin if we live a life of fear. Just like with this pandemic, you know, we tell people, listen, uh, things come upon us. There are uh, scenarios that come upon us as believers, but we can't live a life of fear. We can't let fear drive us in our lives. We have to remember we're children of God. He knows about us. In uh, 1 Peter chapter 5, he wrote, why are you surprised at the fiery ordeal that has come upon you as though some strange thing were happening? In the book of James, he says, consider it all joy, my brethren, when you encounter various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith produces endurance. So God uh, tells us in Romans chapter 8 that he could take all things and work them together for the good. And that includes your fears and your difficulties. Uh, I would end with this. Um, if you ever uh, are uh, inclined to do a word study or a scripture study, just go through the New Testament and read every occurrence in the New Testament where it talks, uh, it uses the phrase in him, in Jesus, or in Christ. Just read those and let that calm your fears. Hello everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video. To see more videos like this, be sure to hit the subscribe button below to get all of the latest content from TCT Ministries. We would love to pray alongside you for God's blessing in your life. So email your prayer requests to prayer at tct.tv or click the link below to submit your request at tct.tv. God bless you and we wanna thank you for watching.